Hi, I'm Mick Cabborn. I'm Jared Walker. I'm Billy Fish. And this is Surviving Nature with Mick Cabborn, Jared Walker, and Billy Fisherman. And today, we're going to do a little competition, see who can survive the longest. And since uh, they're a little younger than me, they're going to be on a team, and I'm going to be separate trying to survive on my own. Alright, let's start this competition. Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so we once I had this really epic survival story. It was life or death, and I tackled a big tiger, and it was the craziest thing in my life. And then it cut my arm off, but then I got a hostalic one that looked like a real one. But then Bro! I really like sticks. Oh yeah, and rocks. Dang, I wish we had some more rocks. You say rocks? Oh! That's not what I meant. Seriously, who's this Billy Fisherman guy? Well, Billy Fisherman, you're a pretty good expert. I may have my work cut out for me. I don't believe it. There's a tiger over there. Wow, this is a rare tree, but we've got to be careful. Tigers are very tutorial and very dangerous. Very scary predators. We better get out of here really quick. Come on. Tiger! Tiger! No! Wow, that's pretty impressive. I've never seen a tiger be so domesticated. Well, you are an expert, Billy Fisherman. Huh. How do you do that? Wow, that was really impressive, Billy Fisherman. You've got to teach me how you do that. I've never seen anyone be able to calm a tiger down like that. How do you get your secret? Oh, 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 oh. He's fine. After all my hard work, I finally got my fort back, but now I need some food. Benny, why is these kids doing so good? They're like outdoing me. I can't lose again. Well, we did what you asked, Mick. We got a couple of inexperienced kids, so you'd look good. You can have any excuses this time, man. Got an idea. Come on, man. They're 10 and 7. Seriously.
Hey, how's it going, uh, Jarek? Jarek, right? Yeah. Um, you guys are doing pretty good, but you know, I, I, you know, I got a few hints and a little tip for you because you know I'm an expert. But uh, oh, here's a number one tip for you to get honey. All you have to do is get a rock and throw it at that beehive over there, and they'll scatter, and then you can get all, all the honey you want. It doesn't work like that. Of course it does. Trust me, I'm the expert. Now go try okay. it. Try it. Oh, you're right. They didn't attack me. Really? Well, that's weird. tip in survival. It saved my life and it could save yours. My mom likes sticks. Wait, wait, what was I saying? I think I finally got away from that tiger. It's been hunting me down this whole time. <laughs> Well, it's starting to rain out here. And the best thing to do is stand under a tree when there's a big storm. Yeah, gets you uh, natural projection, gets the rain, and the safest place to be during a huge thunderstorm. Oh! That was a pretty close lightning bolt. The safest thing to do during a thunderstorm? Stay away from the trees. I think I finally got away from that tiger. That was pretty scary. It was chasing me for a while. I think I'm finally in the clear. I gotta admit, that tiger kinda sent me back a little bit, but no worries. Now that I finally got away, I know I can still win this competition. Let's go. Okay, started out pretty rough, but things are finally starting to look my way. 
Jake Walker, I got it. No, get this thing away from me, dude. It's flowing out the mouth and probably got rabies. Oh, you're right. And I know I'm definitely gonna win this competition. <laughs> oh, the raccoon! Oh, tiger! Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's a close one. I wonder how Mick Cowboy's doing. He's probably doing pretty good. He's an expert. So once I was in a do or die situation and I was surrounded by a pack of wolves. But all I had was a lighter, spray paint, and a knife. Okay, so what's this guy at all about? I really like sticks. Okay, you know, no, you know what? I'm done. It's, I got attacked by a tiger three times and a rabid raccoon out of nowhere. You know, I'm just gonna. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to tap out. But and at the same time, I'm not too worried because I've had to beat a ten-year-old and a seven-year-old. I'm pretty sure they tapped out already. So I'm just gonna call it. I won. Oh, actually, they win. They're still out there. What? Seriously? Damn it! I lost the game. Who helped them? Was it you, Kevin? Hey, congratulations! You guys won! Cool, I won against Mick Cowboy. Is there a prize? Uh, I'm not sure. Hey, Kevin, is there a prize? Uh, no. Oh, sorry, I guess there's no prize. Uh, dang it. I'll frag him. Right